Are you guys mainly invested in overseas funds or do you have any currency hedging? So I guess it's more of a currency risk that we're yeah, talking yeah. about. So we don't hedge your risk. We don't hedge your currency risk explicitly. But what we do is we, do, we diversify your investments. So while we invest in the US, what you really have to look at is the underlying exposure to different countries. So your effective exposure to the US could be 40%, it could be 70%. And then the other pieces of exposure are things like Europe, international bonds, gold, so on and so forth. So your actual exposure is what really matters, not the currency denomination. Mm -hmm. So there is no hedging on this currency risk because it's very expensive to do so and we don't want to hike up the price for investors because we have some hedging instruments. But what we do is we diversify the actual exposure. So we limit your currency risk. Um, what we do on top of that um, as well is to, to make sure that a significant amount of your portfolio is in gold. If you think about gold as a currency, mm -hmm. it is just another option. And in these uncertain times, if your currencies go up and down, gold will really respond in a good way. So ultimately, um, it's very, very uh, diversified. Yeah. And if you look at the Malaysian Ringgit for a long term, say 10 years or more against developed markets like the US, uh, Singapore dollar, um, the Aussie dollar, uh, and the Euro, you will see that it has depreciated over the long term. So as a Malaysian living in Malaysia, spending in Malaysia, it's important that you diversify some of your funds outside this country because you also have a lot of other investments, things like your EPF, your PNB, some of your unit trusts that are based in Malaysia. Yeah. So some of your portfolios should be diversified overseas. Perfect. Thanks so much, Ken, for uh, yeah. participating and helping us understand the basics of investing, what people should be doing, and how Statue can play a role in their investment journey. Yeah. And for the people who are watching right now, thank you so much. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below and we will try to answer that for you as soon as possible. Otherwise, check out the other videos that we have uh, with Ken here. We have a bunch of other questions that we have uh, recorded and, help, and hopefully will help you in some way, shape or form. And if you're ready to take um, the next step in joining Stashaway, uh, just feel free to use one of the links uh, below in the descriptions because you'll get some bonuses that you can't find anywhere else. All right, thanks a lot.